Welcome back. Our second debate tonight, a day after more than 80 Russian missiles rained on Ukraine, including in the capital, Kiev. New Delhi has decided to slightly differ with Moscow at the UNGA. As the Ukraine conflict continues to rage, we are often asked, whose side are we on? India is on the side of peace and will remain firmly there. All right, joining us on the talking point this evening, Jeepar Sarthi is former diplomat, uh, Dr. Swasti Rao, associate fellow at the IDSA. Uh, Olga Vazdiakava uh, is a Ukrainian member of parliament. Dr. Sergei Dvorinov is president of IDC Russia. For, uh, Dr. Sergei, uh, the, the point with, is uh, uh, the Crimea cruel, bridge, uh, you know, for whatever reason, it got bombed out. Now uh, the business has come back to a semblance of normalcy there. But Dr. Sergei, by yesterday's actions, by the series of missile hits, and particularly civilians being hit. I mean, one of the missiles even landed inside the University of Kiev. How long can Putin continue uh, to do this? Because the international community is going to turn around and say, uh, whatever reasons, whatever reasons there were for him to launch this special military operation, uh, after seven months, you can't keep attacking civilians. It's a good question. How long time? You it's know, it's a famous it really? uh, symbol of three monkeys one monkey close with your eyes uh, second monkey close your ears and the uh, last monkey close your mouth what is is about is the western world is uh, united states of america united kingdom and europe during eight years how many eight years it was a violence who start with violence ukraine start with violence to the russian population of the east part of ukraine that's why our national leader was so tolerant and always try to approach to the brain, to the, we can say, intelligence of Ukrainian polit politicians. Not only current uh, president, who was uh, before state naked on the stage like a clown. And uh, no, he approached, but Dr. Sergey, uh, Dr. Sergey, these four regions that you're talking about, where where the referendums happened and the annexation happened last week, no, no, since, I want to, since I want to, uh, Ukraine became an independent country in, in 1991, yeah. uh, these yeah. four regions have been Ukrainian. There's no yes, doubt but, about that. Know, today, uh, today, Vladimir Zelensky uh, told that he refused to uh, go to the, uh, any peacemaking conversation, dialogue, or any negotiation with peace with Vladimir Putin. We have our current president. He also president. Why he refused? No, but you can't, you can't annex Ukrainian sovereign territory in a referendum and then bomb <laughs> missiles across 12 cities, kill about a dozen civilians, and then say, come and talk to us. Yes, but, way it uh, you know that uh, territory, uh, you, you know very well the four regions, it was the will of the nations who speaks Russian language. And before it belonged to Russia, that is also their choice, freedom, their will to join to Russia. We cannot tell that is the sovereign uh, territory of Ukraine. It's not like this. Russia has been facing massive reverses, whether it's in uh, Izium, whether it's in Kupiansk, whether it's in Lehman. Uh, the other uh, uh, places that she uh, outlined on the outskirts of Kharkiv and Kherson. Uh, and that is where this battle is going to get decided. In the middle of that, to attack civilians in Kiev and other cities, uh, not only are you drawing the, the wrath of the international community, but you're also trying to divert attention from the battlefield losses that you're seeing at, in these front lines. Dr. Sergei. Yes, uh, first of all, Henry Ford uh, told uh, once that nobody can be winner on the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, I completely believe that we uh, still uh, have a chance. Uh, after eight years, uh, when the Russian population on eastern part of Ukraine was destroyed completely, was always on the fears, always in, in anxiety, how to be survived. Vladimir Putin take care of his responsibility took this part, Russian-speaking uh, speaker citizens, uh, back to Russia. Right now, you can, you can see on the uh, Western media, or especially in Ukrainian media, after they destroyed the uh, bridge, Crimea bridge, yeah. it was like a festival, like a celebration, that, oh, yes, we did it. Everybody was so joyful. I, I am very sad, first of all, because uh, some civilians was under the weapon 
Of course, it's the price. Any price on the world is a big price because it's the price of uh, of the lives of mm-hmm. the people. I am I am believer. Right now, I'm giving this interview in Vrindavan. I especially came to a significant place of India to pray for peace, to pray for picture, the future of civilization. That's why I think that we should use this chance. And I completely believe that India is the most powerful country in the world right now because it has so strong and deep roots about peace. Om Shanti Om. And the Indian leader can be big supporter and mediator because today Vladimir Zelensky refused to make a conversation with Vladimir Putin. How it's possible? Okay. Uh, you can okay. uh, sit at the table with somebody mediator and listen what mediator will suggest to you. That is the point. We should be very practical. Ukraine and uh, Washington hmm. provoked Russia by the declaration of November 10th uh, uh, when they, uh, you know, uh, spoke uh, spoke out blatantly and unnecessarily. Okay. Uh, in strong terms. Uh, all right. This is, as you said, this is an era of. Uh, of peace, of peace, and not, and of not war. an era of war. Okay, and We're you don't leave it at that. Uh, thank you very like much, that. Ambassador Patsarthi, uh, Dr. Swasti when... Rao, and Dr. Sergey for joining us. Unfortunately, the Ukrainian MP had to leave the show. Uh, we we'll leave it at that. We'll see how the vote happens at the UNGA uh, later tonight. That's a wrap. Uh, in a moment, Parish Shakil joining you with news episode.